Hey girls, um, Michelle here. So it is January 1st, 2023, and this is going to be my first video for the new year. And I also wanted to say that I am going to try and do one video every week here on YouTube. So I'll probably film it over the weekend on like Saturday, Sunday, and then it'll go live Monday every week. So just to like kind of go over what I'm just like going to tell you about how the week is, how the week went and basically, okay, say hi to Zeus. This is my dog. Um, every Sunday, at least during the winter time, like winter and early spring, we have a run here in Denver that we meet Sunday morning at 10 AM. So after the run, I'm going to like come home and do this. Right. And just like film chat and we'll kind of either review stuff. We'll just talk about life, like whatever it is, just some, some HDR updates. Um, so yeah, it was our first run of the new year and it was awesome. Um, we had about 10 girls come out and run, um, with us, which was so nice because here in Denver, like it is really cold and it was snowy and we just recently had a storm. So everyone coming out, like I so appreciate them. They did amazing and it was really nice. We got coffee after everyone just kind of chatted. Um, we kind of talked about our goals for the new year and we just got to know each other. Um, and honestly, one of my favorite things to see is like people connecting in the running group with things that aren't running related, right? So we all come together with like this common like desire to be healthy, be fit, go for runs together, all of that. But then to actually see people connect on things outside of running. So like we were talking about book clubs, we were talking about like facials and esthetician stuff and like whatever it is. Like we're so we have so many dimensions to us that like it's really nice to get together with these girls and not only like be running together but also like find other things that we like to talk about anyway so it was really nice we had a great run um it was 30 minutes we do it every week so sundays right now during the winter sundays 10 a.m um if you want more information like you can find it on instagram um and then once it is like summertime we'll do mondays at 6 p.m 6 30 p.m um, okay. Anyway, so some other just like updates, life things, um, HGR things. It is obviously the new year. Um, and we got some new shoes. Um, I'm going to try and do one of my goals for this year is, um, to review a new pair of shoes every month. So I'm going to start off with these new Hoka's Project Clifton's um, that I got and I bought them, um, on my own. Um, I didn't like get them gifted or anything from Hoka. And so there are a couple things that like after running in them and using them, I like, and I don't like. Um, so one of those things is I think the design is so cool. And I honestly love that usually their shoes on the side say like Hoka really big right there. I love that these ones don't, and it's just kind of like a clean look. The zipper is obviously really cool. I wish they made the zipper a different color. Like I wish they made it um, to be like this same color. And also, and this might just be because like I am running a brand like HGR and like growing and creating it and like knowing about like product and manufacturing and all that stuff. But the fact that the zipper is a like standard okay wait let's see if i can get it zoomed in close enough um no cannot um it's like a standard ykk zipper instead of like a hoka branded zipper i don't know i think they could have they could have splurged on the hoka branded zipper um in my opinion and so the thing that like they are slightly um heavier than your typical hoka Clifton, which I think is totally fine. I didn't notice a difference about it at all, but the tongue, my dog is crying. Why is he crying? I don't know. Hey, stop. Stop. Come here. Um, the, the like actual weight isn't a huge deal for me. Um, but there's like, I just, why did they make the tongue like this? So see how it's like, it, it doesn't come high up. Like it literally is like 
so low in there and then the fact that it's like the thin like tongue and it just like digs into my ankle it's not comfortable it doesn't sit right and the regular Clifton's it's so comfortable the tongue is so comfortable but for these it's just like no it's I don't know and they're so regular Clifton's are roughly $140 these were $250 they're the same like I don't think it's worth spending that much more on the like slightly different shoe um and that's honestly one of the reasons why like it is nice to be able to just like buy these shoes and review them like with a true honest opinion because yeah obviously it would be great if it was gifted and then it's like oh whatever about the price doesn't even matter they're just a cool shoe but like if you if you're spending an extra hundred plus dollars on these shoes, like they better be fucking amazing, right? They better be the best thing ever. Um, I don't think they're like anything special in comparison. And honestly, the only reason why I loved them so much is because of the color. Like the color's sick. The fact that it's just all neon, it's so cool. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, some of Hoka's colors they're like not that cool. I don't really like them. So when I find colors that I love, I'm just like, I need these shoes. Um, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, they have a cool like inner pull tab zip thingy. Um, but now I'm also noticing, like look at the way that this is rubbing, like the zipper is rubbing on the top of this like this shouldn't have these like marks on it it should be just like the solid color um so that's something i don't know if that makes a difference to anyone but yeah like with these sneakers i'm gonna do a full like in-depth review on these versus clifton's in another video but this is just like a quick little intro on them they're not my favorite they're okay they're nice like i like the color they look sick but they're not my like, oh my God, I'm dying to run in these. They're so comfortable. I love them. Um, literally just because of the tongue. The tongue is like not, not my favorite. Um, so yeah, that's those. Um, this is my coffee from our run today. And so in other like HDR updates and everything, like I kind of want to talk about too, just what's kind of coming up, what I've been working on in terms of the brand and what we're building and all of that. Um, so I did post on Instagram just about like my running goals for the year and like getting everyone else's running goals and all of that. So a couple of the things and look, I literally, I have a notebook. Hey girl, run. Um, this is one of our newer stickers. So if you order anything, like you get the sticker, but I have this just like paper notebook. Okay. So these are, and this is just for HDR, my 2023 goals, right? Okay. So the first one is to be featured in a publication as best running shorts or best run leggings. I think it's really important to be, um, identified and like what is the word I'm looking for to be noticed for what we're doing here at hey girl run in a very run specific way because what we're creating is like yeah there's hundreds of other brands that make leggings that's not like why we're here we're here because all these other brands there's always something that like for runners their apparel isn't necessarily like as good as it could be at least that's how i feel and so being recognized as these are some of the best shorts and leggings for runners would just be amazing like it i don't know it's just like something that i see for the brand as like a really big goal for this year to be recognized as what we're doing is like going to be the best for runners um okay so that's one and then we have create an ambassador program so i really want to work towards having this program probably kick off in the summertime i'm thinking i'm not sure um and this is just going to be like having a group of girls either who are training for something who are running um races not in a competitive way but just in a way that we can support them here at hey girl run and have them be our ambassadors that they're getting new product drops every time we launch something i think that would be really fun that like we create this program in this community for not necessarily just athletes. I think that runners in general, it's like this 
really small group of elite athletes who are runners and then everyone else who are runners we're still running we're still trying really hard but we're like we're not competing in the same sense of like I don't know this like elite level but we're still working really hard to accomplish goals of like running a half marathon doing a faster 5k like all of that stuff like should also be celebrated but there isn't really much that like you can like do in terms of like the accolades i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining it right but just creating that ambassador program to like really connect people and have them like represent the brand in all capacities of a runner i guess if that makes sense um okay and then another one is expand our run club to five new cities so right now we have our denver um run club which is meeting every week we just had one here on the first um and so expand to five new cities that's it i just I want to find girls who are really committed to like hey girl run in their city and they want to host a run every week and we would 100 percent give them free gear to wear they are a reflection of hey girl run as a brand and they're going to help build the communities um in their city so that is like a huge thing that i want to focus on um another one more um free and paid training guides so right now on our website we have i think it's five or six uh run guides and basically they're pretty like standard generic of like use this as your guide if you're running a half marathon use this if you're running a 5k they don't necessarily um give you as many options of like if you want to do it in 12 weeks versus 20 weeks or if you need to like build up to a distance to then even be able to start training like all this stuff so there's a lot that i want to expand um for the run guides that we have on our website okay another one um so launching a product per month and this is going to be like our activewear and our gear um there's definitely going to be some challenges with that it might not actually happen but i think it's a really good goal to have because you have manufacturing delays you have like testing and product design that like maybe it isn't right the first time taking all those things into account we are still a very small business and that's just like what i want to try and achieve in this year but it's okay if we don't, um, but I think it would be amazing if we could get a new product launched every month. Um, like new colorways, new styles, all of that. Okay, next. Um, and then this is kind of like the last one. It's a bit more personal to me, but also as like Hey Girl Run as a brand is working with and collaborating with non-competing like running slash fitness brands and that is going to be like working with hoka potentially this year um working with strava spotify i think spotify is like my top goal and would be so cool to be able to work with them to curate these run playlists it, i think that would just be so fun um it's something that i've noticed on tiktok too that like anytime i'm posting about like listen to this playlist or new songs coming out or anything like people are always really interested and always super excited about it so i think that would be like a really cool fluid um collaboration and like way to work with um them so i think that would be cool um so yeah those are some of the goals some of the things that like this year i really want to focus on and try and achieve for hey girl run obviously um there probably are going to be some like curveballs along the way things like take longer than I expect all of that but yeah I'm really excited I'm really excited to continue like growing the community that we're building here in Denver and just across the U.S. in general um really creating a, a place for females who run um women who run girls who run um to feel like they have a place that accepts them even if they're not the fastest one in their group even if they have been ever run a race and are just starting out like we have a place for you and just to be able to create that type of content that really makes you feel like i belong here i am a runner like it doesn't matter my speed it doesn't matter my distance all of that so yeah really just continue to to work on that and and build this community and build this space for for everyone and i was telling some of the girls today on the run i was like 
I created Hey Girl Run when I ran the Brooklyn Half Marathon and like I was looking for running groups to join. I was looking for like these resources, people to to do it with. And I just, I could, I personally could not find a good like fit, if that makes sense. And it was either like everyone was training so intensely and like trying to PR every race and like all of these training runs that were like these interval trainings that like trying to work on their speed or whatever. And I was just like, I'm just trying to like feel good, go out there, go for a run, have some fun, make some friends, get a drink after, like, I don't know, hang out, chill, whatever. And it just felt like that was really hard to find. And so here we are. And like, I think it's, we're doing it. We're getting there. We're growing, we're building, we're creating this space in this community for all of you girls out there. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, okay, cool. So this, this is great. I love it. A uh, little chat, but yeah, I'm going to try and really stick to a video a week. Um, we'll do some updates. Um, I'll do videos that are just product reviews. Um, I think the next video I do, I'm going to do the comparison of these sneakers to my regular Clifton's just to do like a direct comparison. Um, and then yeah, we'll have a video go live. Let me know in the comments, like ask anything, or even if there's certain videos that you want, um, that I can do like, we'll cover it all. Um, we'll also do product review videos for our HDR gear. Um, and when I say we, I mean me. Hi. Hello. Um, I just like to say we as like part of the Hey Girl Run We community and like everything. Um, but we'll also do videos like talking about our products, why we made leggings this way, why the jacket is like this, all of that, because girls, I'm not going to lie. I love our gear so much and it is like, it's literally made with runners in mind, like women runners, um, specializing in the things that you need as a runner, like you need your leggings to stay up. Like, of course you do, but a lot of companies are making leggings that are like athleisure, not necessarily like for the specific function of running, which you would think like, aren't they all the same, but it's not. Um, so yeah, and just like everything. and just to show you my outfit for right now this jacket our fleece jackets are insane they're so good it's like a full crop like full zip up jacket it's so comfy it's like slightly oversized and boxy and then it has the adjustable um uh, waistband and then we are going to be launching our hot pink leggings in january so this month girls i'm so excited for that so like when we launch i'll do a video too to just like review everything but there's a lot to come we got a lot of exciting things so yeah girls thanks for watching um i'm so excited for the new year and uh, yeah let me know in the comments um anything like comments, questions, things I should do in my next videos, um, anything like that. I am all ears and I just, I want to get a bit more personal on here and really take all of you on the journey of like how we're building, how we're growing, what goes through my head, like why we're doing what we're doing, all of that. Um, because like I'm here for you. I'm here because I'm creating something I didn't have and I want all of us to have. And yeah, it's just a really, so this is like a safe space for all of us. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you for watching. Should I do the typical like YouTube thing? Like, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, yeah, all the stuff. Like the video. Um, also, if you like watch till the end, like thanks for sticking around. This is almost a 20 minute video. Like, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, okay, girls. Until next time, I'll see you later.